Peter's in Berry. Peter, what would you like to say? Uh, good morning. Uh, this is going to this is going to take a lot of courage from both nations of Ireland. What I'm going to say, but I'm going to first of all, I want to take you back to when they had the referendum, the Republic of Ireland, and then they had to have another one. No, they didn't. Uh, you the, we need to correct this idea. They, they had they didn't have two referendums on the same issue, did they? Because they they changed the treaty. Well, they changed it, yes, but in in the respect of it, it, it kind of like was like the same in a way. No, no, no but it kind of like wasn't no. remotely. That's the whole point: is that the European Union took the result of that referendum, took on board the concerns of people who'd voted against it, against signing that treaty, changed the treaty, went back to the people of Ireland, asked them again, and they said, "Thank you for taking our reservations and concerns into account. You have successfully changed my mind." Because you know that great quote of John Maynard Keynes, Peter. What will you tell me? When the facts change, I change my mind. What do you do, sir? So we can leave that canard in the fridge and carry on with your solution to the Irish border question. Right, OK. Well, it's true. We all change our minds through the years. We all get a bit mature. And uh, what I'd like to say is... We need to start. It's got to go from the generations to come. This, and I think those generations to come. Really no, it's got. It's got to be. It's got to be done by the end of the transition period, mate. Yeah, not generations to come. Just, and and really, it needs to be in place by June so that we can negotiate okay. it at the next meeting. Okay. Here it is then. Here it is. Uh, both 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 nations of Ireland take on dual nationality of the UK. They have a referendum to come out of the EU. That's for the Republic. That's for the Republic of Ireland. They don't want to. Come out the EU. They, don't, the they EU. don't want to. It's the people. This, this isn't the people. This is the politicians that are making these ideas. These are the politicians that are making it because there's money for them to be made. So, uh, so how does that work? There's money. For, there's money for politicians to be made. It, it, how it, how, it, how it, do they make money? Politicians do how? make money because they make money uh, on on on. on Various, various things. Well, just give me, well, tell me an example of what you're talking about, because I'm a bit lost, my friend. Right, I'm going to give it your plain, just plain and simple about this, OK? Well, well, this it's certainly mean, simple, but I'm not sure it's plain. Right, I'll, I'll do the best I can, because I've thought about this for years. It's, it, the island needs to come together. We all need that. We all, but to move forward, we have to come together. We want to stop the squabbling. That is years and years. Also, they they did stop it. That was called the Good Friday Agreement. And it's still going on. No, no, it's not. Even in, it's enjoyed its longest in period of it's peace in James, living it's for 500 it's years, arguably. James, yes, it's Peter? It's in the mindset of people. What is? Need, when were you last there? You only need to when were you last there? Versus, you know, I was there. I was in the island about uh, 15, 20 years ago. And, and the mindset of the people today is something that you feel you have a degree of expertise on. No, James. If you just let, just don't, don't butt in for a minute, and just let's look. I can't let you talk nonsense, Peter. It's embarrassing for both of us and an insult to my listeners. Look at the look at the uh, look at the situation of it. Football, Celtic Rangers. There's still the Irish. They're problem. Scottish. There's still the segregation. Yeah, but they take on the Irish situation. They're it's Scottish. Still there. and it, it is. It's still there. What is? <sighs> I'm wasting my time with you. You certainly are, mate. So, what's going to happen at the border? What's going to happen at the border? I think at the moment they're, they're just going around in circles. I don't think anything's going to. Happen. You think they're going around in circles? Going so what's yeah, going to happen at the border? What, what's the solution well, to, to uh, having uh, identical uh, trading conditions on both sides of a border while only one side is in the single market and the customs union? How's that, how's that going to work, Peter? I, I, I heard some of the earlier say we can go off number plate recognition. Yes, they were well, talking twaddle, that. mate. Yeah. Absolute twaddle. So how's it going to work? The only, the only, the only other solution is, if that's the case, that you go off microchip pro properly, so you microchip the population, so you know who's, who's in there. Well, there so we go. So here's the, you're gonna, you're gonna. What if, they, what if they don't want to be microchipped? Is it going to be compulsory? Well, that's it. So that's your answer it. is you now, now that we've really gained to the crux of it, and your insight into the mindset of the people of two countries, one of which you visited 20 years ago, we need to compulsorily microchip all of them. No, I was, and this, these are the problems. With, these are the things that you hear that could happen. People get. So, what's your solution? You phoned in to tell me your solution. What's your solution? The solution is to give a referendum to the whole of Ireland. Do you want to come together as one nation? And then also throw in the throw in the question: Would you like to be dual nationality for the UK and Irish? And then you've got a good commerce. The, 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 the pound is very strong. I think the pound is even stronger what, than the what, euro. What are you talking about, Peter? 
Give the chance to the, for the Irish people but to the, vote... The, the, the Irish people don't want a referendum on, on what you describe. The no. Irish people are perfectly happy where they are. What are you talking Irish, about? You think that the Irish British Irish government Irish. should force the Irish government to have a referendum on something they don't want to have a referendum yeah. on? And the alternative is to put microchips in them all because you went there 20 years ago and you got an insight into their mindset built upon your knowledge of football in Glasgow. <sighs> on a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you think this gone for you, Peter? Uh, I'd say about seven. Would you really? And your vote, my friend, is worth the same as mine. What an absolute travesty.